Hey guys, welcome back. If you're new here, hello, my name is Amy. And as you can see, we have a mountain of boxes. So if you love Hermes, today you're in for a treat because we're gonna unbox everything. I'm gonna start off with these two smaller boxes. The best things come in small packages. So let's go one by one. Those of you who do follow my channel know that I am on my third year of this Hermes journey that we call it. So I've been buying a lot of Hermes, obviously, but this is not just one shopping trip. This is more like my collective Hermes haul so far, I guess um, since my last handbag. Some of these things I had to pre-order and wait for, so... Anyway, this is a jewelry box, as you can probably tell, and I've been really, really into fine jewelry lately. This is called the Clou de Forge ring in the small size and this one does have a couple of diamonds so there's a couple of um, princess cut diamonds set on the edge of the ring and it's so pretty i don't know if you guys can tell but it is a knife edge ring and it is so so edgy so beautiful they don't have a lot of sizing unfortunately that's why i've had to pre-order it um prepay in full of course and then wait for the ring to come in. In Canada, we also had our price increase in February so unfortunately <laughs> I've had to pay the new prices for well for the ring and for many of these items. I've mentioned in the past that I wanted to find a more substantial index ring to stack with my left hand. So on my left hand, I predominantly have my white gold jewelry going on, right? I have my wedding set, which I always wear, and then I have my beautiful lock bracelet from Tiffany. This little cute ring is a silver ring from Ana Luisa, but I really wanted something more substantial. And look at it, it's just so cool. Even though it is rose gold, which technically is not really going with my white gold theme, but you guys know that I love mixing metals. And this, ugh, this knife edge ring, look at the knife edge. Both my engagement ring and my new ring here is a knife edge. Beautiful. I just, I just love how it just jazzes up my fingers and it's not too over the top. Okay, moving on to my second little jewelry here as well. Yes, it is jewelry. I've really been into fine jewelry lately. It's just one of my favorite things to splurge and to spoil myself this year. So this is, <laughs> this this ring has a story. So this ring, it wasn't on my radar at first, but then when I was trying on different rings for my index finger, I tried on a bunch of different ones and I passed on this one the first time, but I kept thinking about it. I kept thinking about it and I had to go back and buy it. Um, so that's what happened <laughs> even though it is a little too pricey but it, it is so stunning and it really just it really is just so pretty on um what i'm trying to achieve so here's the second ring they come in the exact same box oh my goodness i don't know if you guys are seeing how pretty this ring is i mean the lighting here is not the best for jewelry but like when i was trying this beautiful diamond ring so this is called the ever shendong ring and um it has i can't remember is it 0.26 or 0.24 carat it's not really it's not a lot of diamonds but it does go all the way to the side not to the back um and then of course in front similar to this ring it's just such an interesting design that you don't find anywhere else and at the end of the day it just has to suit you basically right so i bought another ring for my index finger so not only do i have this ring to rotate now which i love it's so so gorgeous and super edgy and a little bit more underrated but this one i think is a little bit more loud just because of the uh, like the profile it's like really tall so it, it almost elongates my fingers and under a certain lighting like you know the night lights or like a restaurant light it's really shiny and this one because it is in the white gold which yes it is more expensive they do also have it in rose gold if you want rose gold um it's just really going with the whole vibe here with my bracelet and my wedding ring oh my gosh i just 
<laughs> I just love it so much. So that's why I had to go back and get it. They are totally different vibes for different uh, occasions. And uh, yeah, I can sort of wear it on this hand too, but I, I kind of really like it with the wedding ring for some reason. It's just, I don't know, it's just so cool. So I love both of these. I have a very special unboxing from Ideal and this portion of the video is very kindly sponsored by them. And I also got something for my mom, which I think she's gonna love. Mother's Day is coming up. They are a fine jewelry company located in Europe. They do solid 14 karat gold jewelry with diamonds that are lab grown, which shares all the exact same properties as natural diamonds, but at a fraction of a cost. One of their most stunning and unique properties is that they are modular by design, which means that you can build your collection over time and you can mix and match your pieces. They're very high quality. I wear them all the time, 24 seven. They're sparkly and they will make an excellent gift for your loved ones. So this one I literally just got in the mail because I find that with their modular bracelets, they are best stacked in doubles, so in twos. Their bracelets are completely adjustable. There's four settings, so you open it like this. I'm gonna go ahead and stack these two beautiful bracelets together. There you have it. This is combo number one, which is so beautiful and dainty. As you can see, this little clasp here is holding on to two separate bracelets that are stacked on your wrist. So stunning, it goes so well with my new ring. I'm kind of tempted to get in yellow gold or rose gold just so that they go with my Cartier Love bracelet permanently. Uh, by the way, I just got my love bracelet shined the other day back to rose gold again. <laughs> I'm so glad about that. There you have it. I moved the other set to this arm. So we have a different stack on each arm. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. If you haven't gotten your hands on their bracelets, now is your chance because now it is part of their permanent collection. So I already own their studs from previously and also several add-ons. So this time I just wanted to stick with something super classic that I can wear literally every day. And I went with these ones, Amelia add-ons. So as you can see, the stud part, which comes off, I already own from previously. This is the big size stud. And the add-on is this part right here which is what's so ingenious about their company because you just need one pair of studs and then you can just build your collection with different add-ons over time and then you get different earrings basically every time. These ones are great value and you get to play with the different add-ons. So classic and just exactly what I needed. I don't see my mom very often because she lives really far away, but she's coming back to visit in June. So I cannot wait to surprise her with this one. I hope she likes it. I think she will, but if she doesn't, she could just choose anything else that she wants and I'll get it for her. So let's unbox it together. It's so pretty. So this is the Ada necklace. Pretty much the matching necklace to this pair of earrings. I'm just gonna wear it for the rest of the video so that you can see how it looks on me but as you can see it stacks really well with my other favorite one which is the grays. I will link everything down below if you're interested in trying out any of these pieces. Thank you so much to Ideal for sending me these beautiful pieces and also to you guys for supporting my sponsors because by supporting them you are also supporting me so thank you all so much. This is another really good gift option for your mom especially if she's into silks. Of course based on the shape of the box you all know it is a silk product. I'm just a crazy Hermes lady who buys a bunch of scarves all the time. But this one you would have seen before, except I'm just getting it in a different color. So, oh my gosh, how pretty is this pink? Look at it. I'm not the biggest pink lover, but it's not that I don't love pink. It's just that I only love certain shades of pink. So usually darker pinks. Uh, if not, it has to be a very, very light pink, like a blush pink. Uh, this one is just the perfect pink because, oh my gosh, it just, it just suits my skin tone so well. And those of you who know my collection would recognize this scarf very much because I have literally four other ones. The pink version of the robe légère. So this is my fourth one, yes. I literally went all out with this design because it's just so beautiful. Um, so obviously you can use it as a um, wall art. A lot of people loved this design as a wall art or you could just, I mean, <laughs> just even just wearing it like this is so complimentary to my skin tone. I love it. I cannot wait 
to wear this as a top and everything. I'm so excited for the warmer weather, which is why today I'm just in this little tube top. Finally feel like the spring weather is really coming around. So these are technically not unboxings, but they are amazing gift ideas. I did a whole video on their new Hermes bronzer, and this is the one that I got in number two, and I did wear it today. I highly recommend this product. It's so beautiful, and I, I love how natural it looks. Otherwise, you can go for the lipsticks. I love their lipsticks and their lip oils. And if you've missed my video on the Kelly Bell, so got a third one for myself. When I love something, I just buy so many multiples of. So I finally got this uh, white version. I also got this, which is for my husband, but if you were to get this for the female version it's also another great option for a gift which is not gonna break your bank it was my husband's birthday in April so he's he's already unboxed it I already got one of these for him last year so I'm getting him a second one and it is part of their equestrian line uh, polo shirt so I got him the orange one this time I love the details on this shirt it's got the beautiful palladium hardware technical breathable fabric it's part synthetic, part cotton, which is so comfortable. It has a slit on the side with a little bit of contrast edge. So same thing with the sleeve there. There's a little bit of blue peeking out and also on the collar, very similar to the color of the box, but a little bit more darker, which I think is easier to wear. So it's a little bit more rich. And with my husband's darker skin tone, it actually really uh, compliments him a lot. I would say their equestrian line is one of their most reasonably priced items that are actually really useful and practical. My husband's work involves a little bit of physical labor which is why these shirts are like so perfect for him and plus he plays golf so multi-use. I should get one for myself but they never have my size. <laughs> I need an extra small. But... Okay so this is another piece of ready to wear but not quite as affordable as that one. Uh, this is from the women's line, regular ready to wear line. But when I saw this one, I had to have it. And um, it was kind of difficult to track this item down because it, it was very popular. It sold out right away. But there was one more coming to our store all the way from France and only in this size, which is my size. So I snatched it up, but I had to wait for it. So. I love it. I love it. It's a cardigan. <laughs> but the reason why I love it is because it's so um it's it has so many details, but it's also very classic. It's very clean and like simple in a way. This material, which is silk and cotton, is so breathable and it's it's, it's going to be perfect for our spring and summer because our summer still gets really um cold sometimes. It gets quite windy and this color is perfect this color is actually called bleu noir which is kind of like a very dark dark blue almost black and I got mine in size 34 which is the only one they had anyway these buttons are so signature I love it unfortunately I wish that they had provided a spare because what if I lost one of the buttons and there's no spare to it. But anyway, I just love it because of all the details on it. It's very subtle because it's tone on tone. So there's lines going this way, there's line going that way on the sleeve. And then on the cardigan or the jacket itself, it has all these Shendong patterns going up and down, sideways. Really sophisticated, just draped on like this on a cooler on a cooler summer day or I could just wear it, which is why I wore this little tube top because I just thought this is the best way to show it to you. The sleeves are a little long, but it's literally the perfect layering piece just to keep warm, but it's also really classic, sophisticated, and I love these buttons so much. Moving on, so we have three more boxes right here and they're all very similar item. Uh, I know exactly which ones this one is because I just bought it recently. They literally just got in this color, which I wasn't gonna get more, but <laughs> I had to have it because this was the original color that I wanted in the first place. So let's go ahead and unbox it together. This is really exciting because it is also the season to be able to wear these. Like I said, when I like something, I just go multiple. So it is a pair of shoes. <laughs> you guys are gonna die at how many pairs I actually have of these. So these are the sheep sandals in white. 
Finally, I got them in white. I've been asking about the white ones for like ever. <laughs> they never had it in stock. Oh, it was the same day that I went to buy the the shirt for my husband in April. Um, they they got new socks, so I had to buy it too because this was the original, literally the original color that I wanted. I have to have everything in black and then in white. So that's why I went and bought it. Uh, this time I went with size 37 and a half. I think 37 and a half is my true to size. I have the pair in black. I have the pair in brown, which is called natural. And then I have the white ones now. So I'm literally all set, right? Um, the other two pairs that I have were in size 37. So I would say they are a little bit too short. And I also noticed that they did revamp the sizing a little bit. So I feel like they fixed the issues that they had in their previous ones. So 37 and a half for me is true to size because I do wear 37 and a half also in their Paris and Royal loafers. So I would say the the current sizing or what they're doing right now is seems to be the right size. So that's just my little tip for sizing. I have so many boxes around me. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so this one, I already took out the ribbons. I bought this pair a little earlier this year, which is why I already unboxed it. Um, but I didn't wear it yet because the weather was not allowing it. But as you can see, it is another pair of shoes. So it's going to be a little bit similar in a way. <laughs> oh my gosh, I, I can feel a lot of eye rolls already. I'm like, another pair? Um, yeah, I know. So this is their suede one. This is the new collection. When I bought these, it was so cold, I couldn't wear them yet. Um, so... I mean, they're still different enough. So these ones are definitely so neutral. Uh, they are all beige color, even the sole, like the insole here, which I think makes them a little bit more dressy, if that's even possible. I mean, they're not dressy at all, but I think with the white and the black insole, they are a little bit more striking color-wise, but it's, it's like scream summer, right? Whereas these ones, maybe they are slightly more under the radar if that makes sense. Might blend in with your skin a little bit more. Regardless, I feel like the beige ones are still different enough. I feel like they are a little bit more forgiving, um, like a bit more neutral than these ones because white can be very contrasting. Okay, last but not least, this is a huge box and it's also quite heavy. Okay, let's do this. <laughs> Yeah, I know. It's another pair of shoes. I I went all out this season. Anyway, so these I was not planning on buying, but my essay thought of me anyway, and she thought that I can pull them off. Um, so you'll see why in a moment. <laughs> They're pretty big <laughs> and fluffy. <laughs> I mean, come on, right? How much more extra do you get? How many pairs? How many pairs now? Five, right? Five? Five pairs of sheep sandals. Amy, you don't need another pair. Seriously, please do not get another pair. I don't know the proper name, but they're just... I think generally people call it the teddy sandals, uh, the teddy sheep sandals, because they literally have the fur all over on the insole, all over underneath. Um, so it's very soft. With these sandals, a lot of people, including me, have experienced the thread here underneath here can be very abrasive on dry skin. My first pair especially was very rough, and so it cut me up. <laughs> Whereas this one, you should not have any problems because it's all lined in this shirling. But whether they would keep clean for a long time, that's a, a whole different story. So I got all very light colored ones this time, which I like. I actually like my shoes to be light color because it does contrast a lot more on the feet. And I'll just try it on on this video. Like I said, I'm wearing some sweatpants that belong to my husband, but I think this is the vibe that I'm going for, obviously, because these shoes are very, very casual. It's not really the kind of style that I usually go for, but I do enjoy wearing these so much, especially because they're literally slip on and you can go. 
and they do look very good if you do take some effort at styling them like they go very well with shorts in the summer these are my husband's pants from this brand essential which he loves um and actually i i love them too but uh these are his pants which is why they're so big and i have to really cinch them in but i just wanted to show you the sandals how they look like i feel like these would look pretty cool with what's going on outfit wise so these are the sheep sandals um in their regular sheep sandals i always take a 37 and a half with these ones my essay suggested i go half a size up so i did take these ones in a 38 because apparently you want the fur part to show on both the top and the bottom of your feet that's how they look like they look a little ridiculous which that's why i call them teddy sandals um they're very comfortable though <laughs> <laughs> uh, they're very they're very like street style very cool that way I suppose so yeah so these are the teddy ones and um, I'll have to report back if they're actually a lot better comfort wise than the regular sheep sandals I think the teddy ones are cool in a way that um, it, it really does go with the the vibe that I have going on today like the sweatpants like the comfy vibe but I think with these ones, they definitely do fare better with like your shorts and like me maybe even like a mini dress. Um, so yeah, these are the 37 and a half size sheep sandals. And uh, just to like have one beside each other, I guess, if you want to just compare it this way, this is how it looks like. <laughs> <laughs> these are actually quite soft because of the suede material um i mean softer than the white ones obviously because the leather is a little softer and i think also because the color is more skin tone these might go better with dresses actually it might just blend in a little bit more and you're still comfortable because you're literally wearing dad sandals between the three and color wise they I mean, they're light colors, but they're still quite different in a way, especially when you wear on the feet. So that concludes my massive, massive collective Hermes haul. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. I know a lot of you prefer it when I do it like this, where I just wait a little while and show a lot of items at once like this. Of course, some things still need its own video because they just deserve its own review or whatnot. In fact, I feel like this pair of sandals deserves its own review because um, they're very popular and they can be good or bad for you. Anyway, let me know which item is your favorite. Thank you so much for watching. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe. I also do a weekly live stream and you can also join my membership for more exclusive content. Have a great day and I'll talk to you guys in the comment section. Bye!